kindergartners, just like we have Miss Christina from Three Rivers come to our school as a naturalist. And she gets to take us outside and go snowshoeing and show us so many amazing things about nature. Well, Hilltop, West Tonka's other elementary school, they have a naturalist from Three Rivers too, and his name is Mr. Brett. And Mr. Brett made so many cool videos for us to enjoy as well. So you are going to watch a video from Mr. Brett and then listen for some directions to go explore outside and explore nature. All right, here's Mr. Brett. Hello, my kindergarten friends in the Mountain West Tonka School District. It is I, Mr. Brett. Now, last week we introduced the topic of amphibians, and this week it is all about frogs. In front of you, I have a gray tree frog. Tree frogs are amazing. Not only do they camouflage very well, but they also have little suction cups on their toes that allow them to cling to things and climb very, very well. There are five different species, types of tree frogs in Minnesota, six different types of true frogs. Wait, five plus six. 11, nice job, and three types of toads, 11 plus three. That's right, 14 different frogs and toads in Minnesota, and often we don't see them, but especially times like now, we're hearing them. It is spring, they have come out of that brumation, which isn't quite hibernation, a little bit different. They're out of brumation, they're calling. Now, just as a reminder, it is only the boys that do the singing. The girls don't do any singing. Uh, they are the ones that decide who the best singer is. Tree frogs sound like this. You might be hearing something more along the lines of a chorus frog that sounds like this. Or even an American toad that sounds like this. I encourage you this week, get out. Go explore, listen for the sounds of spring, including our like friends here, the tree frog. Till I see you again, get outside. cool. Now, today, I want you to go outside and just listen. You might hear some sounds from nature. You might hear some sounds from humans. Just go outside. You could even close your eyes. Try to listen and visualize what do you hear. The longer you listen, the more sounds you can hear. I heard a few humans talking, a few birds talking to each other, and my neighbor's wind chimes. I cannot wait to see what you are going to hear when you go outside. <laughs> 